Developing tonight, an accused cult leader is in jail facing several charges. His name is Eligio Bishop, but he's known as Nature Boy. According to DeKalb County jail records, he's charged with rape, false imprisonment, and sending ex sexually explicit messages without the consent of the person in the picture. Bishop and the followers of the Carbon Nation cult have a reported history dating back several years. New tonight at 11, a former member is speaking to Paula Suro about the time with the group. And Paula is joining us live from the DeKalb County Jail. Well, Bishop is being held right now. Yeah, Jennifer, you know, Erica Carroll tells me she is glad Bishop is behind bars tonight. She tells me she believes that him being in jail is only going to help open the eyes to the current members of Carbon Nation. What would you call it? A group? A cult? Would you call it a cult? It, 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 I call it a cult now, yes. Yes, I do. A Facebook post convinced Erica Carroll to move from New York to Honduras in 2006 to embark on a life-changing experience, one where she was told she'd be able to build a new community, eat vegan food, and be in touch with nature. It was just in a place in my life where I was just searching for some spiritual truth. The group back then was known as Melanation. Carol says it was led by Eligio Bishop, who went by Nature Boy. She says all nine of them were forced to sleep in tents, use restrooms outside, and attend long meetings to, quote, face your demons. It was a lot of verbal and mental abuse. But after one year, what got her to leave was when she says she witnessed Bishop hit his girlfriend at the time. He slapped her up and punched her a couple of times, and then he told her to go in the, in the, in the tent and, and give him... And give him oral sex. So that was the breaking point for me. But walking away, she realized, was easier than going back home. I had to check myself into a couple of hospitals and get my mind right. I was seeing spirits. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was I was going through a lot. And it was all connected to him, though. Carol says since leaving in 2007, the cult, now known as Carbon Nation, turned more abusive and sexual. She says for some, it wasn't as easy to leave. He has the women fighting each other. He, he's, he's put his hand on the men. Um, he always said that he wanted, like, a lot of wives. Like, he want, you know, 10 wives. He's had a history of charges before his arrest this week. Carol remembers being in Costa Rica when she says he was accused of kidnapping a Canadian woman who was staying with them. Now, Carol tells me she has been in touch with Bishop since leaving the cult in 2007. She tells me she even had a feeling he was going to get arrested soon and texted him just days ago, telling him your days are numbered. Jennifer. Wow, Paula, thank you so much for that update. Like we have said, this investigation into Bishop and this reported cult goes back more than 10 years. For a closer look into what we know, you can look for this story on 11alive.com. All right.